Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer on this beautiful summer afternoon. Happy Friday. Hi, Lynn. Um, could you let me know if you can hear and see me? I guess if you can't hear or see me, you won't be able to tell me that, but <laughs> um, sometimes it's hard to tell, so I'm just going to check real quick. All right, hopefully everything is working fine. Okay, thank you, Jean. <laughs> I might be moving a little slow just because I decided to come outside today. And so uh, sorry if I'm like lagging a little bit, but hopefully you can still hear the sounds. And there's B. Um, <laughs> so wanted to be outside today just because of how beautiful it is, as well as um, I found this beautiful song. Um, I don't think I've uh, actually done this song, so I wanted to share it. The mailman's out today. I don't know if he's coming this way. That would be really funny while we're praying. It's okay. Um, um, <laughs> Anyway, today's, um, today's time together uh, is going to be um, starting off with a psalm. So I'm going to do, bring that up, Psalm 61. So again, I apologize if it's slow. Ah, the mailman's joining us. So give me one second. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm actually doing prayer time. I so, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna start today off um, with Psalm 61, and I will just read it, and you'll have to see me move a little slow, and I'm sorry. And then um, I will leave it up there for you all to kind of read and digest. So Psalm 61 verses 1 through 5. Um, and actually, I'm just going to move myself up because I really don't like how it's slowly coming. You like that, Lynn? It was funny, right? Okay, so one second. All right, Psalm 61, verses one through five. So there's more to it. We're just gonna hide all of that so it's not in the way. God, listen to my cry. Pay attention to my prayer. When my heart is weak, I cry out to you from the very ends of the earth. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I am, because you have been my refuge, a tower of strength in the face of the enemy. Please let me live in your tent forever. Please let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings, because you, God, have heard my promises. You've given me the same possession as those who honor your name.
So today's psalm um, inspired the song that I will start us off with um, as we as it leads us into prayer. It's called Hear My Cry, O God. Um, so you see the words that have come from the psalm. And I want to, let me show it again, just because, okay. <laughs> Um, first of all, Psalm 61 um, is a beautiful song about calling out to God um, for help um, and in our times of trouble. And there's just so many parts to it that you could just like pick out, right? Um, but my favorite one right here is verse 2, which is, When my heart is weak, I cry out to you from the very ends of the earth. Um, and this idea of it is in our in our weaknesses um, that we can still come to God in fullness. And this idea of calling out to God from the ends of the earth is very beautiful. And I imagine that being a combination of like our own particular prayers, but the prayers of the people in the world and the prayers that extend beyond ourselves. Um, to God and how God hears those and what that must sound like. It's beautiful. I like, I don't know. <laughs> to me, it's, uh, uh, I get this idea of, of melodies and songs that like kind of combine and come together. And it's just a beautiful interconnected idea to me. So I just wanted to share that to you as we continue on into our prayer. Um, this, this time is about our interconnectivity and our openness to the fact that God can hear us when we gather in whatever capacity that is, right? Y'all are joining in in this time when we are, you know, you're on the other side. I can't hear you, <laughs> but like you hear me and we are gathering to, to pray to God. It may not be in tears, right? It may not be cries. Maybe it is, and it doesn't have to be cries of sorrow, it can be cries of joy as well. Um, but I just think it's very beautiful. So I wanted to lift that up for us. All right. So today's song is Hear My Cry, O God. And um, it was written by the psalmist Richard Colligan, I think I'm saying his name right. Um, and so I will start us off with that. Hmm. This, actually, I'm just going to do this too. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Hear my cry, oh God. Listen to my prayer. Hear my cry, O oh God, listen to my prayer. Hear my cry, O oh God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call to you. Though my heart is faint, from the end of the earth, I call to you. Though my heart is faint, from the end of the earth, I call to you. Though my heart is faint, let me abide with you forever. Oh God, we come before you and ask that you hear us. Perhaps some of us come with tears, tears of sadness and sorrow, um, tears of pain, um, and whatever other hurtful feeling that we might be harboring um, with us and that might be in our spirit right now. <laughs> and we also come before you with some, some of us um, with joy 
uh, maybe they are tears of joy, but maybe it's just laughter and excitement to um, be in your presence. And some of us might come in between. In all the aspects that we come to you, we ask that you hear us, that you open your ear, incline your ear to us as we come before you for prayer for our world, prayer for each other, prayer for our circumstances, prayer for the circumstances of our loved ones, prayer that you will be present with us in this moment and from and going forward. There we go. God, we ask that you will um, bring us into this place of calmness, of peace, of love, that with that in mind and in our hearts, that we will love each other, care for one another. We ask that you are with those who are not doing well, with those who are sick and need healing or need um, peace for acceptance or comfort. We ask that uh, you be with those who mourn, those who, who have lost people that they will know that you are there with them. And we ask that you would just continue to show us, show us your glory, show us the ways in which we um, can be and live in this world together, um, and show us the ways um, in which we can transform and be transformed. Thank you for the sounds of the birds, for the sound of the wind, <laughs> for mailmen who come by to say hello. Um, thank you for neighbors who walk by, for pets that we get to care for, for animals that live around us. Thank you so much for all of these beautiful things that remind us of your presence in our lives. And we ask that you continue to be with us the sun will shine on us in the days in which we feel the most gloomy and that we will take advantage of the moments where we are called to rest and to be in your peace. I'm grateful for each person who shows up, for each person who passes by, and for everyone in between. With the sounds of the birds. <laughs> in the wind. We pray all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> um, and I see a message here. So I'm going to read that real quick. I did not see that. Um, from Victoria. who is asking for prayer. Um, well, Victoria, we will be praying for you. And if you need to send us a message, OK? Um, and uh, I'm sorry that you are struggling right now. It's a very hard time to be struggling. So. Uh, thank you for sharing. And for those who may come a little later and see this recording, we just got a message um, in our uh, comments. <laughs> so I'm not going to put it up on the screen, but I will reply to Victoria personally and um, just know that we are praying for you. Um, and I will give you a message, okay? All right. Thank you all so much for showing up. Thank you for uh, your flexibility, for your openness. I hope you got a kick out of meeting our male person. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, so all the love to you this weekend. I hope that you enjoy your, the rest of your Friday and enjoy this weekend. And I will see some of you on Sunday, right? All right, peace and blessings. Bye, y'all.